Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator Johnson, uh, it would be a most interesting debate and discussion as to whether, whether uh, those people who are here in Colorado are, are either tax contributors or tax um, takers, you might say. I, I've seen the arguments both directions, and, and yet this is not the bill, and I'll not uh, uh, take our time on that one. But when it comes to the question, is this going to cost our uh, state institutions of higher education dollars, or is it going to generate more dollars than it costs? Uh, you were a principal. I was a, a trustee for a, a college for 18 years. I know a little bit about how the mechanisms work and the costs that are there. And I will tell you that if you add 1,000 students to the system, you're going to have to pay for it. And the cost is going to be somewhere beyond the standard rate because it's more than just what COF funding provides as a subsidy. It's going to be something probably a little bit less than what the out-of-state tuition rate is. But the state, make no mistake about this, the people of Colorado are going to pay the freight. And the question is, shall the people of Colorado pay for the rate, the subsidy that we're providing through this bill for those who are not here legally, or shall they not? I'm urging that we not pass this bill because it does cost us dollars. There's no question in my mind that it will be an expense. You say the fiscal note says otherwise. Well, that's only if after you amended, it, amended the, uh, the bill with some very creative bookkeeping. Prior to that, the fiscal analyst said, yeah, we, we can see at least millions of dollars that will be uh, paid for by the taxpayers here in the state of Colorado. So don't, don't try to make some sort of a fuzzy argument that this is going to make money. It, it doesn't work that way. What the question is, is are we or are we not going to subsidize those students who are not here legally? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator King is quite correct. And I believe he points out the real issue is not the particulars within this bill because I, he's, he's correct on the issue of, of it is an attempt to deal with some, some uh, uh, individual dilemmas that unfortunately those who have come here illegally find themselves in because they came here illegally. Or their parents brought them here illegally. You could say it's not their fault. Well, the consequence of the parents are falling now on the children. We can't fix it with Band-Aid legislation like this type of legislation. We have to go to the core of the problem. And I've seen so many bills come through in the 10 years I've been down here. Well, really, the last six or seven years that I've been down here, legislation trying to address this issue of illegal um, people, people coming here illegally and trying to conduct their lives below the legal radar. This bill enables that. It turns a blind eye to some of those issues, like what Senator King talked about on how do you apply for citizenship? Can you do that and go through four years of college here? Well, the bill seems to indicate yes, but the question of process is very different. It's a Band-Aid. It's trying to fix a very big problem with the small little patch that doesn't really make sense in the ultimate picture. Uh, no one here wants to, to deny anybody higher education. And yet, we do want to find legislation and put laws in place that make sense overall. This bill I oppose because it doesn't fix the problem. It extends the problem.